November 12th, Brown County Commission meeting to order. Commissioner Fiker, the allegiance to the flag, please. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. First item on our agenda, we have a first reading of Ordinance 150, Morlock Rezone, and Ordinance 151, Reich Rezone. Kathy, you want to go through those so everybody's aware of what's going on? Okay, we have Ordinance 150 and Ordinance Amending Title IV, Second Revision, Brown County Ordinances, as amended to rezone certain described property. This um, application was filed by Mike Morlock, and he's looking to move from Agricultural Preservation District to Mini Ag. And the legal address is the 10th edition in the southeast quarter of section 2T126 North, R64W, of the 5th PM in Brown County. So moved. Second. Moved by Weiss, second by Fiker to authorize the first reading of Ordinance 150, Morlock Rezone. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. And then we have Ordinance 151, an ordinance amending Title IV. Second revision of Brown County ordinances as amended to rezone certain described property. And this one is filed by Shane Reach, and it is to rezone from Agricultural Preservation District to Mini A. And it's at the East Half of Lot 1, Keith Third Subdivision in the Northeast Quarter, Section 22 T124, R64W of the 6 p.m. in Brown County. I'll move it. Moved by Fikert, second by Kipley, to approve the first reading of Orders 151, the right free zone. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. We've got just a couple minutes, Kathy, before our next. Do you want to do a couple of your other? Um, yeah, we have minutes from the general meeting, November 5th, 2019. Move. Second. Moved by Lee, second by Feldheim, to approve the general meeting. Meeting minutes for November 5th. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Claims and payroll. Moved. Second. Moved by Kipley, second by Weiss to approve claims and payroll. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. HR report. So moved. Second. Moved by Piker, second by Weiss to approve the HR report. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Authorized advertising for the Northwestern Energy Renewal. Move. Second. Move by Lee, second by Fiker to authorize mm -hmm. advertising the Northwestern Energy Renewal Agreement. Are we, are we authorizing or advertising to see if there's a better competitive bid out there? Um, I can grab the notice, but we're authorizing and setting a hearing date on the renewal. It's every, I think, 20, 25 years. Isn't that just basically to allow them to get into the right of ways, I think? Yeah, I've got the packet here. Do we do that for everybody? I know. I've never seen one of those. I'm not sure. That's a big packet. I yeah, it, so I have to go through. I think what it does is... It allows permission to erect and maintain power lines along public highways of Brown County. That's what I thought. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I've got a notice for three weeks, and then I believe it is December 10th. Yeah, December 10th we'll have a hearing. Just so they don't have to come in every time they do something, and then it's well, the right the right away that they're authorized. The yeah, and I can email this out. No, no, it's okay. like, like, <laughs> I don't want that packet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah, 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 sounds good. Really Print it out for yourself. Yeah, right. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Sheriff's report from October. Moved. Moved by Weed, second by Kipley, to approve the Sheriff's report for the month of October 2019. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carries. Alright, that's everything that I've got. Okay, we're just a little bit off. Uh, I guess we'll go right into, or about 30 seconds is all. Next on the agenda we have Scott Mike, Emergency Management Director. County burn ban. What's up, Scott? Good morning. Um, hard to believe, isn't it? We're talking about that. Got a call from the Fire Chiefs Association uh, late last week um, asking what our thoughts were on the countywide burn ban, uh, specifically due to the current road conditions. Um, with all the water moving through the James River Basin um, and area there, numerous roads, county roads, uh, 
hundreds of township roads that are affected um, <coughs> that are that are keeping our fire departments um, from getting from point A to point B. Um, I can tell you that we already have uh, made adjustments in the uh, 911 center with Kent and his folks um, to dispatch different fire departments to different areas because of road conditions, um, you know, for, for real fires. So um, they're requesting a, a short-term ban, um, again, due to the, due to the road conditions. Um, I, I, I do have the water information. The water is uh, starting to go down on the north end of the county. Um, Jamestown has slowed some stuff down, but uh, that we haven't seen those breaks yet. But um, from the initial push, that is just getting through the Columbia area right now, so it'll work its way slowly through uh, through the rest of the county uh, through the rest of the month, I'm guessing. Uh, and then we should start see the uh, lesser amounts coming out of Jamestown and Pipestem Dam, I'm guessing, by by the end of the month also. But. The James is going to run high, um, hopefully not flooded roads high um, through most of the winter. Um, but again, I'm, these roads that are flooded, if they freeze this way, I'm not sure how they're even going to be usable through the winter, some of them. Um, I did a little tour yesterday. Um, there, there's some, some pretty good roads that, that are going to stay flooded all, year, all winter. So um, again, you get up in that Hecla area, you know the state line is closed. Uh, County 5 was closed. Um, the next uh, Hecla's fire area, you know, uh, west of the James River. Um, again, we've got Columbia and, and Frederick taking those calls right now because Hecla has to come all the way down State Highway 10 and, and use the, uh, the, the refuge bridge going across on 10 to get across the James River. That's the only crossing. Otherwise, they got to go clear up to Dickey County. 11 around by Ellendale so you can kind of see the severity of this so um, again this is I've talked with Mark and his group and and you know they're they're supporting whatever the fire chiefs want so um, again they're just requesting a, a short-term ban um, we do have some burns going on I think we had uh, six or eight of them this last weekend um, everything from tree piles to you know leaves so what are we talking like maybe a couple of two weeks is that good I'm I guessing suspect. maybe through the end of the month like you said to see if see what this water does you know um, it is uh, it is going down I was when I was up at the state line yesterday it is flowing the right way now um, and it is going down the gauges are responding to that all you know up there but like I said Columbia now came up Stratford continues to go up I'm guessing we'll see a few more roads in that area you know as the slug pushes through um, and again, depending on you know how cold it stays, now it's supposed to warm up this weekend again a little bit, which will help ease a little bit of the ice situation. But um, if it gets cold and stays cold, these roads are going to stay closed for the for the winter, I'm guessing. So the snow cover doesn't affect the burn ban. That the snow cover problem. helped a little bit, you know. But again, that's going to be gone here this weekend. Um, it's supposed to be in the upper 40s starting again by Thursday, Friday through the weekend again. So. There's a little bit of snow, a, a tenth maybe on Wednesday they're talking, but, you know, nothing significant. What are your thoughts? Are you in favor I, of the I, I, I You know, I, 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 I see their point. Uh, it's hard for me to fathom with all the water. You know, obviously there's not a river bottom or anything going to burn. Um, um, but on the other hand, I, I, I kind of see their point that, you know, if, if we do get a good windy day, um, uh, you know, some of these some of these cornfields, they'll burn. Um, yeah, the Jim River isn't going to burn right now. There ain't much of the cattail sticking out. Yeah, so you know, I I, I hate to I hate to get rid of something, but on the other hand, when I see people burning big tree piles, that you know that okay, wait wait just another month until we get a little bit more snow on the ground, you know. Um, I hate to punish people, but again, I don't want to have something cut loose and we can't get there and we can't get water to them you know or we can't get through the ice to get water or things like that so um, I, I'm kind of torn I, I, I think maybe we put it on for a month through the end of November here and then we'll see what the weather does and see what the water does like I said uh, another couple weeks and we should start see some water going down and, and at least it'll give us an indication of the north end of county if, 
we need to extend it a little bit, um, you know, um, we can always do that. But if we go through the 26, which would actually be our next meeting, and then we could either extend it or pull it off at that time. That way, we wouldn't have to wait until December for our next meeting. I think I think they would be okay with that. Like I said, it would give us. Uh, and, and again, this is strictly because of the roads, yeah, um, commissioners. You know, um, it, again, if if we can move some water, at least we'll see what the north end is reacting like. Um, well, it's probably an inconvenience for some people, but I understand the fire department's also on their end, and I don't think two weeks of somebody waiting to burn is going to make or break them. So if we would decide on the 26th whether to extend it or call it off, I think that would probably be, I don't know what everybody else's thoughts are. But. And I heard from seven of our nine departments, there's two that didn't call me back. Seven of them, the nine actually supported it, just so you know that. He said he did visit with Mark this morning. Um, We've got our other little, uh, we've got uh, numerous fires been going on um, the last few weeks with abandoned buildings. Um, I know Mark and his office is working on that, but our crews have been out every night for the last three nights now again, and it's this, you know, it turns into an all-nighter for these volunteers. Um, this maybe will help <laughs> eliminate some of that. Not, not those types of fires, but at least another long, drawn-out call, so. So do you want it effective immediately, or do we wait till Thursday, see what Wednesday does, and then I'm just thinking if there's anybody out there that's ready to do some stuff and they didn't have a heads up that this is coming. We, we've, we've always made it immediate, um, and for the simple fact of when we do wait, that's what we get. We get everybody buying matches to get it done, to get it done you know, and then we've got, you know, 20 burns going on. Um, I, I, I would say let's, it goes into effect immediately through the next meeting on the 26th and we'll reevaluate. Well, the next meeting is the 19th. Or the, yeah, two weeks two out. Weeks. Oh, I'm sorry. You're saying wait. two weeks. Yeah, because we wait till the end, then we got to go into December. Where I think I'd move it. Sixth. We have a motion by Piker, a second by Weiss to put the burn ban on immediately and to reevaluate on the November 26th meeting. And the burn ban isn't due to the fact of the vegetation, it's due to the fact of the fire department's uh, road conditions getting to the areas that they may have to. Correct. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carries. Thank you. Thank you. I don't see we got the American News with us today. We should probably. Are you going to send notice? I, I will send stuff out. Do you want me to retype this? I, it went till further notice. I can I can get it retyped. The burn ban resolution? Yeah. Can you just email it to me? I can. Yeah, I think that's okay. it. Okay. Thank you. I will uh, get to that as soon as I can. In a Word doc, so I'll just copy yep. whatever yep. you have. And uh, I'll change that to go through from now until the 26th, and we'll reevaluate. So, okay. Anything else for me? Just coordinate that one well. Uh, Judy says you got your stuff moved out of the Millen building. <coughs> it's in storage at the weed and pest for the winter and in the spring we have to determine what. And hopefully we have a solution <coughs> by then which we're working on with the property that we're working on out north here. So hopefully we'll be able to get you something there and we'll see once how it all shakes out at that point. But at least you're squared away for the winter. We're, uh, we got we got some stuff jammed in some trailers, but uh, uh, it's out of there. We're, we're yeah, we're, we're finished up so we'll uh we'll wait to work with you on something a little more permanent hasn't been any problem for you the 24 7 over there now that they moved in has that been all right with here is that parking just been a little issue you know we got you know where we where we um, fill and dump our command trailer on the west side of the building um, i talked to judy about maybe putting up some signs for just to limit short-term parking instead of we get somebody that blows hot and their vehicle sits there for you know however long they're in the Mm -hmm. in the establishment over here and it just you know creates some inconveniences but other than that it hasn't been hasn't been so bad so good so okay thanks Scott thank you mm -hmm. we have any other agenda items we have a guest with us we have Chris Kostubi uh, you're with I'm with the South Dakota Ag and Rural Leadership Program okay you want to just give us a little brief update of what, what that's about, Chris? Uh, the program's been going on for roughly 20 years. We are the 10th class, and it was started to help not always young people, but people become more uh, active in their community roles um, as far as leadership goes. 
whether it be in the A community or any community. And uh, a lot of uh, public speaking type classes, um, learnership, legislative type classes, and stuff like that. So, like I say, I'm the tenth class, and it's about a two-year commitment. Okay. And your your next visit, you had said earlier, it's Vietnam, I believe. The f the finale to the class is an international trip. Uh, we've studied locally, we've studied at the state level, and now we're going to go to the international level and uh, learn a lot about their agriculture type deals. And that that's kind of the finale of the class right before your graduation is is the international two week trip to uh, and it was picked Vietnam for this class. So. And you travel pretty much to the state of South Dakota viewing different projects, different uh, yeah. uh, facilities, whether it be cattle, sheep, uh, grain, whatever, is to kind of include everything in the agriculture? Correct, aspects? correct. We uh, About a monthly meeting bounces around the state. Um, December meeting is, is here in Aberdeen. Okay. And I uh, don't have the agenda. I would uh, hope to assume we might tour the AGP plant. Uh, I don't know what it's going to entail yet, but that's the type of stuff that we we do. So it includes bankers and there's some finance people, some finance government people, people uh, some ranchers, some farmers. Uh, How many are on this? Twenty-eight. Twenty-eight. Okay. Uh, I told Carl I, I well when I got in I thought maybe only twenty-eight applied, and there was actually 122 people that <laughs> that applied. So you thought you got in by default? <laughs> yeah, I was the last one to maybe apply, but uh, it, it started with a. Um, a written uh, interview type deal, and then went to to a live interview, and uh, uh, they took a pretty good demographic of people all across the whole state as well. They didn't want too many uh, too many of the same type in there. And uh, who's the uh, uh, director now? It was when it started. It was Dr. Dan G, and then uh, I forget who was in between. But who's the Lori main? Cope is the yeah. one, and okay. she was the Aberdeen. She was a chamber yeah. president, yeah. president here at Aberdeen for quite Lori is still a yep. director of the mm -hmm. program. Correct. Correct. Yep. Does a very good job. Yeah. There's no smoke coming on your part either. No. No. Uh, when you get to um, the time of work, you end up taking off, mm -hmm. and you know, the meetings are during the week usually, and it Tra ends up being a pretty good travel. It's day. never a great time. Last week was never not good mm -hmm. time, but it always works out. So. It's for the better of hopefully the community and, and everybody involved. So. Well, it's awesome to get some good relationships and different perspectives on things. And, and um, we had to pick a mentor, and, and I picked Carl, and, and he actually accepted. Mm -hmm. So uh, he's kind of mentoring me and, and helping me with some of this stuff. So. Good choice. And you're teaching Carl how to do the farm thing then? Yeah. <laughs> 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 you teach him how to take soil samples. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Well, I appreciate you stopping in. appreciate you bringing them in, Carl. And uh, yeah, Thank you. Good, good having you here. And appreciate what you do. Yep, appreciate it. Yep. Anybody have anything for exec? I do, yeah. Personnel? Yeah. yeah. Okay, Ross, do you have anything? Uh, I exactly. hope you guys wanted to address the Edwards thing. The contract? Yeah. Uh, we'll go into exact for personnel and contract. Give us an update on the contract thing. Can entertain a motion? Move it. Second. Move by Kipley, second by Weiss to go into exact for personnel and contract. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are in exact. We are out of exec as a result, no action on personnel and uh, contract. Actually, personnel, we called it off. We felt it didn't work <coughs> personnel. So we'll be turning oh. on the agenda for next week. Oh, okay. It wasn't actually an individual. It was more of a, what I would call a non-exec, so we didn't do anything with the personnel. It'll be on the agenda for next week. Okay. Mr. Lloyd, sorry, <laughs> to, sorry to hold you up there for a minute. That's fine. <laughs> Okay, regarding the Highway 16 and 23, and we call the Four Corners by Stratford. Okay. I toured Columbia area, Houghton area, Claremont area yesterday, and, and Highway 21 is closed from 16 towards the Highway 18. They put the barricades on the road Saturday. Either Friday or Saturday, because the water is going over the road on 21. Okay, back to 16 and 23. The county should raise the road immediately. 
to keep the intersection open and Highway 16 especially. <coughs> About four years ago, the water was eight inches deep on the intersection. We were still driving through the water about two, three to four inches on 23 towards Warner. But most people were avoiding intersections with their small cars and stuff at that time. Well, right now, the bridge on 23 is some blockage with cattails and stuff. And I think it should be cleaned up because the bridge now is 33 feet shorter than it was at that time. Just pile the rough cattails off the side. Don't haul them away or nothing. Just make that water flow just a little faster because you got rid of it. That way it goes down to Spink County or down the road. But he has to raise the intersection at least a foot to compensate the water that's coming from the north here. Yeah. And I, it'd be about 300 feet total about 100 feet on the south side, almost 200 feet on the north side, with just gravel, crushed gravel. That's what they did to Shinkle Slough, mile east, west of Fernie, in the spring, because the water was over the road there. And they can do the same thing at 16 and 23 intersection. That way the flow of the traffic from north to south and if the water gets on 23, that's almost a mile wide there. So, in summertime, when it's just plain water, but now you're working with ice and, and wet water, why? Well, it's going to be a problem for the school bus and everything else. If they don't fix 16, they raised the road two feet to three feet two years ago. What's the name of Webster did the job. And if that was not done, the water would be about a foot deep on 16 for a mile and a half. But right there in the corner, the water is up to the white line right now. Mm -hmm. The ice flow is kind of holding it back a little bit. About a foot difference between the west side of 16 versus the east side. And of course, there's a lot of cattails and straw bales and everything else against the bridge on 16, but there's some blockage on 23, and I would suggest you clean it out, put a pile off the side so we just don't haul it away because that's extra cost, but get that water through that bridge, and it's they're talking about maybe going over the road on the county line. So we can get 16 open north and south and up to that from the east. Right. The school bus would only have to go four miles out of the road. But if 16 wasn't fixed, or 23 water over, they have to travel 50 miles one way. School bus would. What uh, what shape is uh, Mud Creek in right now? Is that uh, backing up in the Mud Creek or is it? Uh, yeah, it's backing up, but that lower down, like on Highway 23, Mud Creek, mm -hmm. has dropped a foot in the last 10 days there. Okay. But the ice flow is kind of back, keeping the water from flowing back up that way, Highway 23. It's not over the road on county line or nothing, but Jim River might be over the road here in another 10 days. Hmm. So they did raise the road with gravel, and right now you should do it because the road bed is dry, and you can play to raise it a foot for a distance of about three, 300 feet. That way 16 is open all winter because you can't drive through water and ice, somebody will end up in the drink. <laughs> it's not good. Have you uh, talked to Dirk at all, Lloyd? I stopped there Friday and he wasn't in Friday. So I just, you relay the message and... Okay. Well, you're, you're talking now 16, 
I'm looking at a map here. 16 and 23 right at the intersection is where you're saying it's got to be yep. raised? That's you do it south on, on 2016 on the intersection. Then it comes back up the road level. So, so the water was down, eh, I'd say about 100 feet a couple, three years ago. And they sloped the road when they raised it down to meet the intersection. So it's a lower about uh, almost 200 <coughs> feet, 150 feet. Mm -hmm. So the bridge west of the <coughs> intersection there uh, on 23, you're saying that bridge was shortened up? Shortened up? And 33 so, feet. And so the water, and then that's the one that's got some blockage in it too. Yeah, a little bit of blockage on the east side. Mm -hmm. There was one on the west side, but that earlier here uh, a month ago had let loose. But it should yeah. be cleaned out on 23 to get that water south far. <laughs> Keep it moving, you know. Yeah. There's a tremendous amount on 16 bridge, bales and cattails, and, but <coughs> That's going right. some of the flow because they're about foot different between the east side and the west side. Yeah, that's always been a low area in there to begin with. And it's just yeah. so high right now. Okay, we'll have a conversation with Dirk and we'll see what we can Yeah, because do about otherwise, the way it's looking, there's a lot of water yet to come there, so it's going to... Oh yeah, we aren't even in the spring yet. Yeah. <laughs> This would be the first time in 80 years I can remember that the water was not back in the Jim River Channel mm -hmm. on November 1st. This is the first time. Yep, it's done it before, just not in the last 100 years. Yeah, yeah <laughs> you're right. So. Yep. Nope, good observation. We'll pass that along to Dirk and let Dirk decide, being he's the mm -hmm. man in yep, charge yep. of that, we'll let him evaluate whether they should clean they, those bridges I out. I thought there were a couple of weeks ago and three weeks ago and he's out on inspection or working on Richmond Road. Well, I think so that's all done. I get known. That's finished. Yep. Everything out there, uh, the bridges and and uh, both bridges out there are finished and the road is striped and it's done. They're gone. <laughs> yep. It's done. So, yeah. Okay, but Kendall or Kendall or, or Dirk uh, definitely need to, uh, and, and they're probably aware of it. It's just a matter of we need, to, you know, somebody needs to communicate. But it's easier with them. to do it when the road is dry to put that gravel in, and there's was two inches of ice on it, and yeah. people have been driving through it and carrying the water down the road highway. So it well, the water's filled up that hole in the past, but like you said, not this, yeah. not this time of year. Yeah. So right. I thank you. Well, well I we'll sent them a message, to, but I'm sure they've been down there, like you said, multiple times, because I know there's other issues drainage-wise and, and otherwise in the neck of the woods. So they've been down there multiple looking at it, but I'm just not sure what they've come up with. So we'll make sure and get an answer to you. <laughs> I drive by it every day, so I yep. watch the something being done. Yep. Thank you. You're thank welcome. You. Happy thank birthday. You. Yeah. Don't celebrate too much. We'll just shout us up a minute. You'll be good. Okay. <laughs> Have a good day. Thank, Thank you. 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 too. Anything else to come before the Brown County Commission this morning? Um, is anybody else coming the 21st? Wayne and I are going to tour the JDC up in Roberts County. If anybody's interested, it's in conjunction with that Sisseton Lake area. When is that? The 21st. 21st. That's our lake region. Yep. Yep. Okay. Does anybody else want to go on that tour? I just was going to let her know how many. Uh, what time? I'll try to. We're going okay. right before the meeting, so it'll be 11. Okay. I got a bunch of stuff going on up there too. So all right, we'll figure it out. Okay. I'm with already. Any of I want it. to, but I need to retire first. <laughs> Sounds good. And I believe we'll put on the agenda the uh, Millen Building and how the proceeds will be handed at next meeting because yep. the closing is the 15th on the Millen Building. The decision would be on how to uh, put the proceeds towards the new building over here, how we want to do that. 
so that'll be up for discussion next week. Jim was working on that. Yeah. We heard I talked this morning, but I think the commission probably needs to be everybody on board how we want to handle it. So. Yeah, and we'll be using surplus cash to pay off the building uh, if we choose to do that this year. Okay. So that'll be a decision. And then Edward's yeah. contract needs to be on the agenda. Yeah. There's yeah. some advantage. You want that on the public agenda? Mm -hmm. Yep. I think being assigned out stuff, yeah. we can announce that. Anything else? I would entertain a motion to adjourn. Move. Second. Moved by Piker, second by Weiss to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? We are adjourned.